Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my live streams of mathematics videos. And in particular, I'm going to talk about series, infinite series in this one, and a special test for the convergence or divergence of a given series. Now, the name is the integral test. And as the name would suggest, the ideas involve integration. So let me do a couple of examples to uh, sh uh, sh illustrate the, the basic ideas. So let me share my screen with you. Okay, so here are a couple of infinite series. Okay, now um, they kind of look the same. So here we've got the sigma of 1 on n squared. So this would be a 1 plus um, a quarter plus a sixteenth, etc., etc. This one would be one plus a half plus a third uh, plus um, a quarter. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> I think I left out the one ninth over there, but you, you get the idea. Now, the, the question is, do these series converge to something? If you think of these as limits of partial sums, does the limit exist? Okay. Um, if it does, then we can do things with it and it will obey the laws of algebra. Now, you may have heard of series in other contexts, for example, Fourier series, power series, um, Taylor series. All these sorts of series are, uh, pop up in applied mathematics, but as a basic starting point, these are just series of positive uh, and constant uh, terms, okay? All right, so I'm going to show you this integral test. So let's call this uh, one and this um, two, if you like. And we're going to work through each of these uh, examples. Okay, so now both of these um, series are known as P series. So you have this one on n to some power. Here the power is two, and here's, here the power is one. Now the the value of this power p tells you whether or not these series converge or diverge, as we'll see from this so-called integral test. Okay, so for part one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let fx be a function associated with the sum and. Okay, so I've introduced this function of x, x squared, where x is uh, real and greater than or equal to 1. Now, this function is positive for x greater than or equal to 1, and it's decreasing. Okay, these are the two conditions of this integral test. It's positive and decreasing. So what we're going to do now is look at the improper integral of this over the uh, interval from 1 off to positive infinity, infinity. So now this is where the integration comes in in the integral test. If the integral, the improper integral that we're going to calculate, if it converges, then the series also converges. If the integral diverges, then the series also diverges. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so <clears throat> consider the following integral. So I'm going to integrate from x equals 1 off to positive infinity. So um, I'm going to have this improper integral and now you you learn about these improper integrals in say a first course in calculus or a first course in university calculus okay so you can write this uh, a few different ways firstly you can replace the infinity with a limit and say a b and what you do is you do this integration first, and then you'll take the limit. 
Okay, so let's do that. So if I integrate this, um, it's like x to the to the minus two. I increase the power by one and I divide by the new power. So it's going to be something like this. So it's going to be something like um, negative one on x b to one. So let's put in uh, x equals b and x equals one. So if I put in x equals b, I'll get that, and minus negative 1 gives us this. And now what happens to this as, the, as b goes to positive infinity? Well, this term will go to 0, and I'll be left with positive 1. Okay? So the important thing now is we know that the improper integral associated with our series converges to, to 1. Okay, so this integral test then tells us whatever the integral does, the original series will also do. Okay, so because this converges, this also converges. Okay, so let's write that down. Since our integral converges, our series, oops, series also, see if I can squish it in, converges. Okay, so that is our conclusion. Now notice we don't know what our series converges to. You might go, oh, it's gotta be one. No, this series, um, doesn't necessarily converge to this value here. All this tells you is that the, the integral converges and by this uh, integral test, the original series also converges. Basically what it says is the series converges to something that's less than or equal to one. Okay, <clears throat> all right, let's have a look at part two. By the way, um, you might be asking yourself, why does this integral test work? Well, I'll talk about that at the end, okay? So let, let me show you another example. Let's do part two. One on n is the uh, sum of that, okay? So we're gonna run a similar um, a line of argument here. So f of x will be one on x for this one. So let, let's start a new page. So, So for part two, let f of x be one on x for x greater than or equal to one. All right, and similar to the, to the two conditions that we had over here, f's positive and decreasing is, uh, is also true for this uh, function here. If those two um, uh, conditions aren't satisfied, then you can't, uh, use the integral test. So our f is positive and decreasing. Okay, so just pos and dec mean positive and decreasing. All right, so let's consider this improper integral now. Okay, so we'll be integrating from x equals 1 up to positive infinity of 1 on x dx okay so let's just repeat the steps that we did last time let's write this as a limit okay and we will work out the integral first and then we'll take the limit and see if it uh, converges or diverges okay All right, so we integrate this, x is positive, so it's going to be a logarithm function, natural logarithm function. And if I plug in um, uh, what have I got? I've got log of b minus log of one. So log of one is zero. So basically, I'm just taking the limit of the logarithm of b as b goes to positive infinity. 
Now the logarithm function is an increasing function. So this diverges to positive infinity. Okay, so let's, let's so, so in the previous case, it was a you know, finite number, it converged, but here it goes off to positive infinity. So let's use the same idea. Whatever the, the integral does, the original series must also have that behavior. Okay, so let's make a conclusion then. Since our integral diverges to positive infinity, our series must also diverge. Okay, so this is our conclusion for the second series that we were given. Okay, so you can see we haven't really changed much here. The power is just, it's a two here and it's a one here. This converges and this diverges. Doesn't seem to be much difference there. Okay. So is there a general rule for these P-series? Yes, there is, and I'm glad you asked. Let me write it down for you. So, so let's consider the following series. Doesn't matter really where we start the series as long as it's got positive terms. So sigma one on n to the power p. All right. It converges for p greater than one. Sorry, let me move that over a bit. And it diverges otherwise for p less than or equal to one. And you can prove that using this integral test. Okay. Now, let's get back to why the test actually works. So the sequence of partial sums associated with, say, this series is an increasing sequence. If you can show that that increasing sequence is bounded above, then there's a theorem, the monotone convergence theorem, says that an increasing and bounded fun uh, sequence must converge. Okay? And you can, you're, you're essentially bounding it by this integral. If this is finite, or if it converges, then the sequence of partial sums associated with this, it's an increasing sequence and it must be bounded above. Okay? Now, it's a little bit hard for me to illustrate that here, but, and I know it's uh, probably not um, the clearest explanation, but I hope you get what I mean. The idea is basically just rely on increasing partial sequences or partial sums that are bounded above, and you use that integral to show that uh, uh, there's a bound above, at least in, in the first case. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. If you have any comments, any questions, I'd love to hear them. You can always put them in the comments section. In forthcoming videos, I'll be talking more about series. Hope you can join me for the live streams then. See you later, everyone. Bye.